All right, now we can actually get started. So, you all partially know what's going on already. For one, we have got, where'd it go? This banner. We've got this banner. In April, we summoned on the double special heroes banner for Sanaki to try and finish merging her. We got like however many copies. And I said back then, you know, if we don't succeed in max merging her now, then we're going to have to wait until like November because she's not going to be back until November. She was color sharing with Shez, but that's besides the point. We summoned on that banner. We spent like a million orbs and uh, we came up one Sanaki short. So I've just had a plus nine Shana uh, uh, Sanaki. And I said, all right, I'll see you back in six months for the final Sanaki summon. But then they hit us with this out of nowhere. The the double AHR bottom eight banner with all of the AHR people that didn't make it into the, the final eight bracket, I think. Or was it like the fifth place to 12th place people? I think that's it. All the people that didn't make it to the AHR banner. And this banner is just remarkably better than than the one I summoned on. That one color shared with Shez. This one color shares with Byleth, who is arguably the best far save unit in the game. Next to like Murr. He's got arguably better skill fodder too with Weaving Fighter. I'm not salty about it. I'm a little salty about it. But yeah, so now we, we have our opportunity to finish Sanaki is, is the point. Which is exciting because I can start using her in Arena. And she'll score better. Sanaki color sharing both fold and pro tags. True. That's a good point. But that's not the only thing that's happening because after that, on my birthday, June 5th, we got a FA channel that revealed Finally, the Dawn Brigade banner that we've been waiting for for like seven years. I was like a sophomore in college when I initially said, hey, I, I wish we had like a full Dawn Brigade banner. So yeah, now this is finally happening and that's exciting. And we got a new Micaiah, which means I have to summon. Micaiah's our favorite, so we, we gotta go for all the Micaiah's. This Micaiah's a little different because she's attuned and not like legendary, so she doesn't like immediately increase my my score or anything in any game mode but she's still really strong and overtuned i've seen people post like like screen caps of her reducing attack by like 50 and then tanking things at close range it looks fun but to start out uh we're gonna go in on uh on this banner right here we're gonna do full circles actually on this banner because I just figure, like, the odds of us, like, focusing red and then still needing to spark are, like, pretty high. And if I do that, then it's, like, I end up spending a bunch of orbs. Coward? This is going to be way more fun. We're going to do full circles on this banner that has all these good units. <laughs> I think this is a good choice. Also, we're only going to spend, like, 130 orbs, which is not even that bad. Now, if I get Sanaki before, like, 10 summons, then... Then who spark if before sparks? So that's an excellent question. Thank you for asking that. Uh, then we go for Altina. And that's kind of a uh, part of why I wanted to uh, to spark is because it's an opportunity to get Al Altina, who I don't have yet. Full circles. Just got to <laughs> summon every orb. It's against my nature to do full circles, but I'll do it. This is uh, also exciting because once we get our final Sanaki, I am done pulling red. I guess technically I'm already done pulling red if I'm going to be full circles anyway, but yeah. I'm excited to not be pulling red anymore. We had like a, a year and a half where I was just pulling red on every banner and it was annoying. Oh, hey. You asked how many Bioliths? Well, <laughs> immediately the first red. If I had, I should have done the red first. <laughs> it begins. <laughs> All right, let me. That's so funny. I mean, hey, Bioleth is good. I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Shit. Hmm. Colorless is the, maybe the least exciting color 
on this banner just because it's just Ghoul Vague. She has good skill fodder, though. I do already have her. I have one Ghoul Vague. So if I did get her, it would be like uh, her B skill. Skill fodder. Power crap by Valentine's Leon. I think, I mean, to be fair, like everything got power crap by Valentine's Leon. But it's okay, because now we have Breath of Life 4. And everything might be okay. Maybe. I don't have it yet, so I'm not sure. Breath of Life 4 appears to be a hard counter for before combat damage, which is good. It doesn't counter his effect where he, like, does end of turn smoke, which is stupid. The effect is stupid. Oh, that's true. Edward is on red. I forgot. <laughs> well, look. I'm not going for a plus 10 Edward, at least. I am going to try and pull at least two copies of him. Spoiler. That's my goal is for, for Edward, is to get two copies. This is probably a, a stupid question, but I do wonder if Edward performs better than Lucia. Like, almost certainly he does, but I don't know, man. I've always just highly rated Lucia's ability to not get special attacked. Ever. It's Lysithia. Wow. What's on blue? <laughs> Does anybody know who's on blue? I think it's Edelgard. And, uh, someone else. All right, it's 10 summons down. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, Saether. Saether's good. Oh yeah, so the, the characters I have are uh, Asanaki. I now have Byleth. Uh, I don't have either of these two, Edelgard. Oh, um, Vale, that's her name. I don't have her, so she would actually be really good. In fact, she could probably go in the would be dope category. Uh, I, don't, I don't have Saether, I don't have Camille, I don't have Altina. Uh, I just have Gulveg. So going into this banner, I just had Sanaki and Gulveg. I don't know if she's good enough, but she's pretty and I like her, so I'm hashtag winning. Good for you. I think she's good. She, I mean, she's an Astro Mythic and she has a strong support effect. All right, we are popping off. Why did I tell you? Isn't this so much more fun than just focusing red? Look at that. I got two duos already. They fixed Faye. It's a good game now. They brought me back. One thing that's interesting about this banner is that there's like 5 million women on it, and then also Byleth. There's like, there's like 20 women on this banner. And then also Byleth. <laughs> what else have we got in here? <laughs> We're doing pretty good in this banner so far. <laughs> this banner is going pretty well for us. We've gotten three five stars and uh, we got two five stars in that one circle. <laughs> That's wild. Like I said, I have Gulveg already, but I mean, this is Flare Sparrow. This is a Cultish Strike. That's the name of the skill. I, I, I did want a Cultish Strike. That's a good skill. Persistence is all it takes to make your dreams come true. Wild. I have been saying that Faye is losing me because the competitive game modes are all annoying for me to play. Maybe. You know, I, I still enjoy summoning, I think. Not as much as I used to. Summoning, like, no joke, I used to look forward to, like, a big summoning session for, like, a month. It isn't quite the same way anymore. <laughs> Just naturally. Probably better than Prescience on Summer Micaiah. True. Prescience on Summer Micaiah is probably... I mean, it was probably outclassed, like, back when Summer Micaiah came out. To be honest. But yeah, Cultish Strike is probably really good on oh, Summer Mikaya. If we get Sanaki right now, I'll probably stop summoning on the banner. I'll take my W and leave. Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> We're done! I'm taking my W and going. What an insane banner for us. Wow. We still have two tickets. <laughs> we didn't even use all of our tickets. I mean, do we use the tickets? I, I said I'd take my W and go. 
Duo Sanaki number 11. Holy shit, we're done. We're done, and we didn't even have to wait until November. That's Bark for Altina. I don't think I can. <laughs> I said I would take my W and go. I gotta hold myself to it. Look, we actually got a neutral IV. Wow. And it wasn't a spark. Next summoning session. Yeah, see, I mean, at this rate, maybe we'll have enough orbs left over for plus 10 chess. Crucial speed point. Crucial defense point. A cultist strike on Duo Sanaki? I don't know if they use it super well. I'm pretty sure I've seen Sanaki's running around with a cultist strike, so it wouldn't be bad. Sanaki is now good. Yeah, those stats make all the difference. Is she supported right now? Is she summoner supported? Uh, she's not actually. Be gone to the beach until I summon or support you later. Stealth is rather thrilling. I had to make room for uh, for Shez. For today only, this is no longer a Shez broadcast. Sanaki can have her turn for one day. Wow, what a what an end to the Sanaki saga. I guess when it went all said and done, Sanaki only came out like seven months ago. It feels like Sanaki's been out for two years tormenting me. That's how it feels. Anyway, I'm gonna scroll rapidly through my uh my music here and find a new song. I mean I'll use my tickets. I can't believe we got four banner units in 18 summons. I was going to say, it is a little anticlimactic. But hey, it was cool. And we got an all win too? Yo, we're, we're doing crazy today. You need two more shes with your orb count after sparking. I feel you don't have enough orbs for getting two summer shes. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I bet we have a little bit more time before the shes rerun comes back. I was really hoping for a green orb, but we did not get one. I'll just do blue again. I guess I'm hoping for um, Veil. We got Sully instead. Well, we are all done with that banner. <laughs> that was much shorter than I thought it would be. I like two weeks? Shit. <laughs> well. So here's the deal with the uh, Radiant Dawn banner. My goal is to get 100 attuned Micaiahs. I think that's a pretty good number to aim for. And I don't think it's too unreasonable either. We have a pretty good stockpile of orbs. 